All right, today I'm kind of... All right, I kind of want to talk about why I think people actually enjoy using this tripod. And it's not because you can do this shot with it. it this, this classic, oh, it, it's a little bit longer, it's a little extendo pod. It's not because you can pretty much mount it to anything. It's actually all because it limits where you can film. Yeah, because th this shot is um, that. I've got to, got to place it on something that's at least semi-eye level. See, the, the benefit with the tripod is you can, you can put it anywhere. You can, get, you can get a good height. This could be at a good height. This could be a good suitable angle up here, maybe. So I'm not having to, when I have to squat down for a shot like this. It's the benefit of a tripod. However, the, the, the downside to a tripod is it means you can put it anywhere. And so when you can put something anywhere, it's like, well, where, where do you put it? You have too much choice. But because I'm limited with like, where I can whack this for a decent angle, there we go. So yeah, this tripod can sort of be attached to anything, go anywhere and be very flexible, but it's still limiting in some of the choices you have to make. I kind of want to take like a thumbnail shot while I'm here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, let's get a wider, wider look, there we go. Let's see, how does that look? That might work. I gotta get down. And there's so many people. It just makes it so, it's so awkward. It's so awkward filming. <laughs> okay, let's play a fun game called Find the Places to Put Your Camera. This is the game I play when I'm out and about and I'm filming. Um, first off, we've got this little wall here, um, just below the no skateboarding sign. It's a good height. You can place a camera on there, that's all fine. Um, I would be tempted to, to place a camera on the on those flower bed things it's, it's maybe a little bit too low um, but also it's actually looking into someone's apartment so that's a no-go that's a no-go zone yeah and then down on the end there's a, another wall bit you put, place a camera on there get a nice shot down down downward the aisle and then obviously there's the 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 pole the little fence bit uh, which you can straddle a camera around i mean it's a little bit risky securing something to that um but this is the this is what i do when, I, when i'm out every little alley i look down and go can i put a camera down here and if so that will be my shot so in some regards it saves me time and forces me to pick a location to pick a shot because you know th there's a good shot anywhere you stand if you're a tripod so you know limitations are a good thing I, I hope that has ruined walking around the world for you in the same way it has for me. Oh shit. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> in the sense that now, whenever I go about, I'm just looking and going, oh, that's a tripod. That's a tripod. I could use that as a tripod. I, I hope you now do the same thing. <laughs> I just like that face. <laughs> yeah. It's a good face. <laughs> I like him. Who do I buy him from? Uh, Tim Pembroke. Uh, well, Ralph the Mouse. Yeah. Can I grab these three? Of course you can. Where have you got? I got a worm. Oh, you got a worm. 
to take the place of a true love. Jesus. Was oozing. That was just like a, a small little art fair that was on just, just for today basically. But like I'm always I'm always surprised at people's skill. Just drawing man, it blows my mind. As, as basic as that is, I'm always impressed. This has stayed relatively intact in the laptop sleeve. There we go, look at this guy! Look at this guy! I can't tell how he's done. No, it looks like um, it looks like a screen print. It looks like a little screen print you can see on the edges. Little marks from the screen printing. It's very intricate if it's a screen print. I like him. Anyway, while I was at the, um, at the little fair, there was a zine there. A little, a little weekly zine, right? A zine is kind of just like a, an RT magazine thing. I mean, when I when I went, did my art degree, art foundation, it was like zine this, zine that. Everything was a zine. I guess it's a it's not. A, anyway, this zine kind of ties into what I was talking about. This is called Prompt. It's, this is. Siri, this is number one of, of a weekly, a weekly thing at, there you go, you can follow, follow them on the, on the things. It kind of ties into like what I was talking about earlier, which is when you're given too many choices for, for creating stuff, right? When you, when you have too much choice, it becomes hard, right? And here this scene is a weekly prompt and a color. And it's, it's when you set those limitations on yourself or, or when you have limitations set on yourself is when it triggers that sort of problem solving mindset. And it's a problem solving mindset which also just feeds into creativity. And I think this is a prime, prime example of exactly, exactly that. You know? But yeah, it's really cool. It's really, it's really nice. Support your local artists. 